Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kahoob here. In today's video, I want to talk about a Bitcoin miner I just purchased. It's the Bitmain Antminer S9 SE. SE stands for Special Edition. This miner pulls 16 tera hashes. Obviously, it's mining the SHA-256 algorithm. Is a, it's a, a Bitcoin miner and also has a power consumption of 1,280 watts as advertised. Uh, I will get into a bit more details on the power consumption of what I'm getting uh, based on the, wat the wattage uh, I'm able to tell as I did buy a product that's able to tell you the wattage it's pulling. Uh, so some things about this Bitcoin miner is it is 76 decibels, so it is quite loud. It's around the same noise level as uh, close to the loudest level of a vacuum. Vacuums are anywhere between 50 decibels to 80 decibels, and this is 76 decibels. But the Antminer S9 SE is actually quieter than a regular S9. A regular S9 is 85 decibels, which is just as loud as like an S19. So it is kind of crazy um, how it's pretty close in sound compared to the those huge miners. Um, now, uh, the S9 SE does allow you to mine at home. You do not need a, uh, like a 240 volt. Here, one second. Let me pause the video. All right, my bad. Okay. Yeah, so you don't need a 240 volt outlet. You can use a regular house outlet. Um, and that's what we're currently doing now. Um, you know, someone did mention if you're going to have... Uh, your Bitcoin miner run continuously throughout every day, 24-7, you know, 365 days a year, then you should probably upgrade to a 15 amp outlet instead of the just the regular like uh, 110 amp outlets. Um, so yeah, but uh, we actually do not plan, me and my mining partner do not plan to have this uh, machine running 24-7. Um, As you can see, it's quite unprofitable you lose quite a bit from running it based on our electrical rate we pay around 12 cents per kilowatt so you know even if you got free electricity the most you'd make per year with this miner is 365 dollars a year now uh there are some special things about this miner no pun intended or actually pun fully intended as it's called special edition uh <laughs> but anyways uh one really cool thing about bitcoin miners is they produce heat and um, if you look at the wattage of this, it's around 1,280. But based on what we're actually pulling on this, I would say it's close to 1,500. It's more like 1,500 watts, to be honest. Um, but even then, if you were to look at any space heater, if you currently use a space heater in your home, um, just check the wattage if you do buy, like uh, either it's going to be in the instruction manual or something like that, or you can buy an actual outlet and plug the uh, space heater into that and see what watts it's pulling. But um, from my research before we bought these miners, most space heaters actually pull 1,000 to 2,000 watts. And when you look at this uh, Bitcoin miner right here, this Ant Miner S9SE, it's doing around the same wattage as a space heater. So even at 1,500, as we saw, that's around the same as a space heater. So, and you get pretty much just as much heat. It heats up just as quick. Now, it is a lot louder than a space heater, of course. But uh, there are ways to reduce the noise of the miner. Um, there's do-it-yourself methods. You can pay like you can pay a ton of money to, to get it done multiple different ways. I've seen a box that you can put it in uh, cost six hundred dollars. I've seen a box that's only three hundred dollars, and then I've seen a do-it-yourself option that's one hundred fifty dollars. And then of course you can try to literally just do it yourself with no instructions and just kind of like figure out figure out what you what exactly you'll need. Um, but obviously you want to be very careful and very safe as you do not want to cause a fire and burn down your house or wherever you're living. Uh, so, um, yeah, so this miner produces heat. And as I said, it uses around the same waters as a space heater. It produces pretty much the same amount of heat because uh, we've tested it. And uh, we are actually using, the, so the thing is, we are actually profiting from these uh, from this Bitcoin miner. And the way we're doing that is we're actually profiting basically 300, well, it's going to be less than $365 a year, but we're basically profiting off of this miner despite the 12 cent per kilowatt, which shows we're going negative, right? But you may be wondering, how is that possible? How are you profiting when it tells you right here that you're losing money? Well, the thing is, we're actually plugging it in into an outlet that is in a home that neither of us own and the person of that home does not know that it's plugged in. They do not realize that it's costing us much in electricity, so they're just paying it and we're getting the free Bitcoin and they're paying for electricity, so we get it free. No, I'm just kidding, that's a joke. Okay, that's a terrible joke. Wasn't even good, wasn't even funny. But anyways, besides that, uh, we are actually profiting though because we are running this Bitcoin miner 
as a space heater. So currently at my mining partner's house, he has an office that doesn't have um, air circulation, like ventilation from the regular house heater and AC and all that, right? So uh, because of that, he usually uses a regular space heater to warm it up. And then in the summers, he uses a AC unit to cool it down. So uh, we decided, well, instead of using your space heater, why don't we just buy a Bitcoin miner and you can use that as your space heater because it'll heat it up just as much. So when it's cold in that room, you can warm it up with this and we'll get free Bitcoin from it. And it uses the same amount of electricity as a space heater. So it's literally just pure profit. So, you know, what? Uh, this is a pretty loud machine though. And I was around it. I will have some videos soon of it. Uh, I'm not. I don't. Um, I'm not at the, my mining partner's house right now, so I do not have uh, any videos or haven't recorded anything yet of it. But um, this miner is quite loud, as we tested the decibels, and it is pretty much what it says here: 76 decibels. And I was in the room in his office for one to two hours, and it did actually. Um, make my hearing not as good temporarily for the rest of the night pretty much but then i woke up and you know the next day and my hearing was fine it was back to normal but obviously uh if you are exposed to that noise long term it can permanently damage your hearing and that's just not worth the 365 dollars a year or even less because if we're using it as a space heater we won't be running it during the summer so that's like you know three four months at most usually uh with where we live and then also sometimes in like spring and fall and all that sometimes it's not so cold or maybe he won't be using his office so he won't need it running so there's just times where he's just not going to have it on or like when you know when he's asleep and stuff like that so there's there's gonna be many hours where it's not going to be being used so it probably will maybe make like i'm assuming maybe like one third of this or something so maybe like a hundred dollars a year i mean that's i'm just going down even farther to be honest i'm, I'm just gonna round round it to round down or whatever change it to 100 you know maybe 100 a year with how much we're going to use it um but like i said it's free bitcoin basically and uh as bitcoin goes up in value maybe it's going to go up to 100,000 after the next um having and all that and uh maybe this miner will become profitable when bitcoin's at 100,000 but who knows because obviously each having means the mining rewards of the subsidies are go going down which means technically this miner would become less profitable but it may be made up from the Bitcoin price going up. So the difference may uh, make up for the halving. So if the Bitcoin price goes high enough, it can still be profitable despite the halving. So who knows? We'll see what happens. But either way, I'm assuming when Bitcoin does go up uh, in value and goes past its uh, all-time high of 68,000, goes up to like 70, 80, 90, whatnot, I do think this Bitcoin miner will become worth more and... Even if it doesn't become profitable for us, uh, it may become profitable for others who are getting, you know, six cent per kilowatt, five cent, four cent, three cent, and so on. So, um, and there are places, even in where I live, uh, in a different part of the state I live in, um, there there is a place that gets, for residential, gets like three cents per kilowatt or something like that. So, um, you know, I, I would love to live there, but I don't. Unfortunately, I live in the part of the state that is 12 cent per kilowatt. So, um, but yeah, maybe someone over there will want to buy this Bitcoin miner when Bitcoin skyrockets really high and uh, it'll become really profitable for them. And maybe we'll be able to sell the miner for more than what we bought it for since we bought this miner during the bear market, which is when uh, Bitcoin miners are a lot cheaper due to them not being as profitable. So yeah, uh, there's that. Now, uh, before I end this video, as it's getting kind of long, I just want to show a quick thing. We are using Brains Pool, also known as Slush Pool. They just recently changed their name. Uh, so you can see the hash rate right here. Um, it does show two workers because um, we do have two Bitcoin miners. I just haven't gotten into the, the second one we bought. I will be going into that in another video because I'm, I just want to do a separate video for that. And I am pretty excited to talk about that. But we can see the hash rate goes up and then down to nothing and then up. That's because um, we're using it as a space heater. So it's not going to be always running 24-7. Uh, let's go to the rewards to show you. Uh, how much money we've made basically from having a Bitcoin mining heater or a Bitcoin heater. You know, uh, yeah, it's basically a Bitcoin heater. So we can see here available balance $1.23, all-time reward $1.23. So yeah, that's how much we've earned so far from it. 
and I think it's been less than a month since we even have got this Bitcoin miner. So it's not going to obviously be that much money. And especially because we're using it as a space heater, it's not going to be running too much. Um, you know, it's not going to be running when he basically when my mining partner is not in his office, it's not going to be running or like when he's not going to be using his office, it's not going to be running. So if he's out and about. It's not going to be running. You know, if it's you know, if it's in the middle of the night, it's not going to be running. If it's summer, it's not going to be running. So, I mean, it's only going to make so much money. But I thought it would be a cool concept to at least try and see what happens in the long term of having this run as a space heater and see what happens. Because, as I said, we're not really losing any money in electricity because we would have used that amount of electricity and that cost of that electricity either way because he would have ran a space heater as an alternative before like how he used to so we replaced his space heater with a bitcoin mining heater and they use the same amount of electricity but yet this one pays out in bitcoin so it is technically an expensive uh bitcoin mining heater it's an expensive heater uh because it mines bitcoin but we'll see how long it, uh how well it works out in the long run um we did pay i think overall $475 for it because the S9 SE we bought on eBay after taxes and fees and shipping all that was like $400 and then for the power supply after shipping and taxes fees all that it was um, $75 so it did cost us $475 this was the power supply we got and this power supply is actually quite loud uh, it's a really loud power supply I'd say it, it may be just as loud as the Antminer S9 SE or somewhere near it or something like that. I don't know, but it's just a loud uh, power supply. <laughs> so we are um, trying to do a do-it-yourself option on reducing the noise. So my mining partner has been buying some stuff and testing things out and building a box and all that to reduce the noise as he will be in the office while it's running. And obviously he doesn't want to permanently damage his hearing. So hopefully that turns out well. He's doing some trial and errors to make sure it's safe and make sure the miner won't break down or get anything inside of it while also being inside the box and make sure no fires happen while also reducing the noise as much as we can. Uh, hopefully by 20 decibels at least. But yeah, so this video is getting kind of long. So I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more future Bitcoin content. And I will be actually uploading another Bitcoin mining video in the future sometime soon as we did get a second bitcoin miner that is pretty interesting because it's quieter than most bitcoin miners that you know so it may be one that you can even use in a small apartment which we're actually going to be testing with where i live so yeah uh, i'll leave that off as a cliffhanger so yeah i'll see you on the next one